It's week seven of 2015 for Ohio football. Things are starting to get really fun. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Welcome to our game week preview presented by Donwood Toyota of Athens on the web at DonwoodToyota.com. It's five and one and two and zero oh, Ohio and two and three and one and zero oh, Western Michigan at Peden Stadium on Saturday. Based on what Ohio has done in the first six weeks of the season, they've proven they're a pretty good ball club. This is the time of the year where important conference matchups happen. Week seven and then hopefully week eight, week nine, 10, 11, and 12 are important too. Remember, this is a drive to Detroit. You got to capture the division title first, and then you go to Motown to hopefully win that conference crown. But these are the weeks where the importance of the season continues to be upped. And these are the weeks where you start to see other good ball clubs in your own league. Western Michigan could be the best two and three team in the country based on what they've done and who they've played. They have similar designs on winning their division and making it to Detroit as well. Who knows? Maybe these two teams will meet back up in December in Motown. But the first things first, taking care of week number seven of the season. These Broncos, well, they're built to run or row, as it were. Where Western Michigan would like to run or row to would be a division title, a MAC championship and a bowl victory. The Broncos' two West Division titles came in 1999 and 2000. They joined the MAC in 1948 and have only won the league twice. The last time was in 1988. They've had eight trips to bowl games and have lost each one. WMU has always been a factor in the league race, but they haven't gone to the next level. TJ Fleck would like to change that. In his first season, the Broncos were 1 and 11. Last year, they went 8 and 5 and lost to Air Force in the Idaho Potato Bowl. This year, they're 2 and 3, but are better than their record might indicate. They pushed Michigan State but lost 37-24 in the opener in Kalamazoo. That was a big night for their school and city. It would be like Ohio State coming to Athens. They lost 43-17 in Week 2 at Georgia Southern. Week 3 was a 52-20 win over Murray State. They did play the Buckeyes and lost 38-12 in Columbus. Last week in their rivalry game with Central Michigan, they captured the cannon with a 41-39 win. Stats are hard to put in context based on the competition they played. But they do have the fourth best offense in the league, averaging 414 yards per game, and the ninth ranked defense in the conference, giving up 446 yards per. No matter how you stat it, their offense can gallop. Quarterback Zach Terrell is steady. He's thrown for 14 touchdowns and six interceptions. Last year, Jarvie and Franklin became the first player in league history to be the league's rookie of the year and the offensive player of the year in the same year. He averages 87 yards per game and has two touchdowns this year. He's strong and quick. The receiving combo of Daniel Braverman and Corey Davis has combined for 1,061 yards, 11 touchdowns. Defensively, they only have three sacks and four interceptions. Safety Asante Brown leads them in tackles with 46. He also has a pick. They could be explosive in the return game, too. Darius Phillips is a two-time West Division Special Teams Player of the Week. It's a blackout game at Peden Stadium, so get the memo. We're black to the game, all right? It's meeting 61 all time between the two schools. Western Michigan has won 31 of those, and they've taken 14 of the last 18. There was a stretch there where WMU won 10 in a row over Ohio. The last time that Western came to Peden Stadium was the last win in the series for the Bobcats back in 2006. Ohio has dropped the last two, both at Waldo. Ohio lost there last year, 42 to 21. It's on the American Sports Network and on ESPN3, and our coverage on the Ohio IMG Sports Network with Rob Cornelius, Ryan Boyd, and me starts at 11 in the morning. Plan accordingly for your tailgate and listening to our hour pregame show, and the kick comes at noon. It's also band day at Peden Stadium. We expect a great crowd. That's our preview presented by Donwood Toyota of Athens. For Derek Mashiro, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.